eat. Messy. Eat with your hands. Yes, that's, that's very nice. You can read the contract over. It's all very clear and safe. I will pay you $500,000 and in exchange all she has to do is live with me for a month and let me watch her eat. Hi guys. So your daughter Jamie is fine, she's resting now, but, but she's going to need a very, very complicated operation. If she doesn't get this operation, I'm not sure if she's gonna make it. Five hundred thousand. A little under five hundred thousand, yes. And if we don't have it, she just dies, is that right? I understand this is very difficult for you. I'm just the surgeon. Now I really have to go take care of Jamie. So why don't you make the decision and call my secretary if you decide to get Jamie the operation. Honey, I know you're upset. But we need to think of what we can do, okay? We can't, we can't lose Jane. I want to help. I don't know how. I just, I just don't want to lose my sister, Mom. Bless your sweetheart. We will find a way, okay? We will. Excuse me? Do you believe in guardian angels? Who the hell are you? I'm just a man who happens to be walking around with half a million dollars. I overheard your conversation with the doctors and I would be very happy to help you save your youngest daughter's life if you also do something for me. Sell Emily over to me. Sell! Sign! Of course I meant sign. So, is that really all, Mr. Reed? Please, we're like family. Call me Danderdon. I meant Danderdon. Is that really all? You. You're just gonna watch her eat like you did now, and nothing more than that. Yes, I, I won't touch her. I won't even look at her outside of dinner time. All she has to do is live in my house for a month and let me watch her eat. She'll have all her time to read or watch movies if she wants to. Well, she'll be safer than with you. Well, that's really all. Then we get the 500,000. That's the deal, isn't it? Unless you don't want to, then I can always- No, no, no. Uh, need the money. The operation. I just, uh, I don't want to make a deal. It doesn't feel right to begin with. All she has 
to do. Let's start watching. Where do I sign? Sweet Emily, to one of my many houses. Let Farthington take your things. We will take care of everything. He will take your things to your room. Now, I will show you the house, sweet Emily. This is someone like her. Why isn't she called? It's been days. Um, maybe there's a problem with her phone. Come on, let's... Let's try to call the phone number they gave us. What the hell did we do? We just sold her that weird guy. Shh, shh, shh. It's ringing. Emily? Hello? You there? Emily, you there? Dad, I'm so glad you called. Look, there's no cell service here, and there's just this old landline phone, so. How are you? How, how are they treating you? It's, it's been all right. I mean, actually, Dandergen and his butler leaves me alone most of the time. I've been trying to figure out what they do all day, and. They, they, they don't do a lot. They just, um, I don't know, they're a bit creepy. The foods I've been getting are okay for now. Like, um, they don't have any silverware, so I have to eat everything with my bare hands. But then I did start getting weirder foods. Um, I think raw eggs were probably the worst. <laughs> I, at least it's healthy, right? Okay, well, I hope they serve you only proper meals from now on. Emily, remember, uh, we love you so much and we're so proud of you. Your sister, she's so grateful for what you're doing. Yeah. I, I have to go now. But but please, call, call me again when you have the time, or I, I really gotta, gotta go now. But bye. I love you. Emily, don't... Uh, Emily. Wait. She just hang up. Can I get a fork?
It's time to eat, Emily. No. We had a contract. You eat and I watch. That's the deal. Well, the contract doesn't say I have to eat everything. I still have a choice about what I eat and I'm not eating that. Then you're gonna starve. What, what, what do you mean? What? No, what? No, please don't do this. No, no, please. Let me go. Let me go. Please. Emily. I better put this back in the room until we come back. What? What are you doing? We just sold her. We sold our little girl. That pervert came with a briefcase full of cash and we just sold her. I know, but it's to save Jamie's life. And she wanted to. We could have done anything. We could have taken out a second mortgage. I could have worked nights. Not this. But we spoke to her. Honey. She's okay. She's really okay. Please, oh, let me go. I'm begging you. I'm... You said you weren't gonna touch me. Oh no, I don't touch people. I have Farthington here for that. You said I only have to live here. Yes, and I gave you a nice room, but you were an ungrateful little brat. Now this'll be your room instead. Toodles, have a nice evening. Wait, 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 please, 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 I'm so cold, please, it smells like mold in here, please, let me go. Emily, Emily. Emily says she doesn't want to talk to you. Is this standard in? Emily says don't call, bye. No. Is there some kind of mistake? No, I knew it, I knew it, something's wrong. Something's wrong. We have to call the police. Yeah, and tell them what? That we sold our daughter to a pervert? We did it to save Jamie's life. Both of our daughters are gonna die because of this. Don't say that. We have to go get them. I don't even care about the money. We have to make sure they're okay. How do we find her? This is a landline. We can find her. We can use the computer and we can, we can find where she is. Okay. Whoa. Don't come play like this too often. Hello, I got an order here. Beyond cheeseburger and fries. Dander Dan Reed. Dander Dan Reed, that's me. Come in. Here you go. Could you bring it downstairs for me? 
I would tip you generously. I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. Please, it's for a friend. She's bedridden downstairs. Mm, okay, I guess we can. This is her room. Please come in. You can leave the food on the floor here for her. That's how she likes it. On the floor. Down here, where she deserves to be. Okay. I'm gonna leave this right here for you, okay, love? And I gotta be going. I got, I got more deliveries. Oh, and uh, here's an extra hundred for you to keep quiet about all of this. Okay, yeah, I get you. Well, you must be hungry. Won't you eat? Did you like embarrassing yourself in front of a stranger like that? Didn't you? Did you like the way he looked at you? That's all you deserve, sweet Emily. Mate, what are you doing? Get out of my Were car. You in my house? Did no. you see a girl? No. Please, it's our daughter. I, I don't want danger. anything to do with this. Please, man, I'm begging you. No, life is too short. I hope you learned your lesson, Emily. We want our daughter back, you creep. <laughs> oh, wow. Sweetie. Tired of this crap? Here. Take it. 500,000. Let's go. You serious? Tired of this crap, just get out of here. Thank you. Kid, don't accept a deal that doesn't feel right to begin with. Hi guys, did you like the story? Do you know an even better story to tell? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Maybe we'll use your idea in our future video. If you want to keep up with our releases, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish a new, original story every week. See you soon!